Hey, crypto friends, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today, guys, I'm going to show you guys one of the absolute best crypto trading strategies for absolute beginners, okay? So guys, what we're going to do here is this is going to be a very short, simple video. It's going to, I'm not going to get very far much into depth here because uh, generally here, you guys, this is a very simple and very easy strategy to execute. So well, we're just going to go ahead and get started right away. Um, so guys, the very first thing you want to do is you really need to pick out a good solid exchange to use. Okay. Now the exchange that I personally use is MEXC. Um, and the reason why I like using the MEXC exchange is simply because it has all kinds of different altcoins for me to trade. Okay. Um, you don't have to use MEXC, but if you do want to use MEXC or try it out, there is a link in the video description down below this video. Go ahead, try it out, give it a go. Um, but if you do use it, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to, you can buy crypto right in, right in the MEXC exchange. Um, but realistically here, you guys, what I personally do is I'm also a um, Coinbase user. And what I pretty much do, you guys, is since my bank is linked to my Coinbase account, I pretty much just buy USDT on Coinbase. And then I send the USDT from Coinbase over here to MEXC. And that's pretty much how I do it. Because obviously here, you guys, I'm trading the USDT pairs on MEXC. Okay. Uh, but the reason why I use MEXC, you guys, is because I'm able to trade over 1400 different altcoins here, rather than, you know, on Coinbase, where you only have like 300 different altcoins to choose from. Therefore, um, you know, all the big altcoins that are all the different altcoins that like to, you know, shoot up and make pretty big gains out of the middle of nowhere. Um, those are all here on MEXC. So that's why I personally like it, you guys. So realistically here, the first thing you want to do is you want to pick an exchange to use. You can use Coinbase, you can use, uh, you can use uh, KuCoin, you can use Gate.io, you can use, you know, you can use Kraken, you can use Binance US, Binance, whatever. You can use whatever one you want, you guys. But realistically here, you guys, I'm using MEXC, so that's going to be what I'm going to be showing you here in this vid throughout this video. Um, the next thing you guys want to do is you need to sign up for a free trading view account. Okay. You just go to tradingview.com, sign up for an account and go to the charts and you're simply going to come into your chart here. Okay. So it's not going to look like this right away. It's actually going to look a little different because, um, you know, with me, I personally like things white and pink to match my altcoin radar logo. So, um, that's the reason why they're those colors. Uh, but realistically here, you guys, um, you know, it's going to look a little bit different and have different colors. Obviously cells are going to be, um, you know, the candles that are going down are going to be red and the candles going up are going to be green probably. Um, so once you sign up for an account here, you guys, the next thing you want to do is you want to start adding the assets that you're going to be trading. So for an example here, you guys, what we're going to do, um, I already have this token already laid out here. So I was trading waves earlier. Okay. I was trading the waves USDT pair. So what you're going to do if you, if you want to do this, so realistically here, um, yeah, I pretty much bought all the way down here and sold all the way up here. So realistically here, you guys, you can clearly see right there, there were some profits to be had today. So that's kind of why I'm using this as an, as an example. Okay. So what we're going to do here, you guys, is we are going to go to trading view, which is your, you know, in trading view here, you just signed up for it. And you're going to have this space over here on the right hand side. That's got all kinds of different, probably a bunch of different assets in it right now. Um, so what you want to do is right here up by where it says watch list, you guys, you want to click on this plus icon. Okay. Now for me, um, you know, I'm going, since I'm trading waves USDT, um, I'm literally just going to type in waves USDT like that. And it's going to come up with waves USDT pairs on all kinds of different exchanges. Okay. Since I'm on the Maxi exchange, you can see it down here, uh, waves USDT waves tether on the Maxi exchange right here. So I will literally just click this plus icon to add it to the list. So once I clicked it, it should be on here. It's right down here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on it and it's going to bring up the current chart for it. Okay. So waves was just recently listed on or not, not recently, but it, it, it was, it was listed within, you know, pr pretty recently on the Maxi exchange. So there's not much data available for it, which is why it looks like this. Okay. So, but we're not going to be using this data because we're currently on the daily chart. So we want to go to the 15 minute chart. Okay. Cause that is the chart that I was trading today for those gains. All right. So here's what we want to do you guys. So realistically here, that is how you set up your trading view account. Okay. That it's as, it's as simple as that. All right. Now, for the sake of this video and to make things super simple and easy, the easiest way that the easiest way that I can show you how to use this strategy, you guys is going to be trading the Bitcoin market. Okay. 
So if we use the Bitcoin chart, all right, let me go back to the one day chart because it's very easy to figure out and very easy to show this strategy on the one day chart. Uh, come on. There we are. Let me get this back to 50. All right. So the very first thing you guys want to do, you guys, is once you have trading view open, then the very first thing that you want to do is you need to make sure you set up your charts. Okay. So I don't remember how it looks when you first set up, um, set up trading view, but if it, uh, the, these indicators down here, you should have some different indicators down here. Um, and the indicators you want down here are RSI and MACD. Those are the two indicators we're going to be using this for this very super easy strategy. Um, so if you already have a bunch of indicators down here, just go on them, um, you know, hover your mouse over these and click the X button on them. If you, you know, if you don't have them, um, click the X button to remove them. And then what you want to do is you want to go up here to where it says indicators and you want to just simply click on search and search for MACD type in MACD which was right here, moving average convergence divergence, and you're just going to click on it and it's going to add it down here. The next thing you want to add is you want to add RSI. So you just type in RSI, which is relative strength index, and you just click it and there you go. It's going to add it here as well. So guys, the parameters are going to be a little bit different here though. Okay. The MACD should be fine. Um, the settings should be 12, 26 and close nine. And then the RSI settings, might be a little bit different and you might have to change them. So you will go into the settings here into the, your RSI and you want to go to, um, let's see here. You want to make sure the length is at 14. And then when you go to style, you want to make sure the upper band is at 70 and the lower band is at 30. And the reason why I'll tell you that in a little bit, but make sure the upper band is 70 lower band 30. Okay. You can make them whatever the hell colors you want to as well. It doesn't matter. Um, so when we're looking at these uh, indicators here, you guys, when we look at this upper bar, that 70, that, that number 70 that you just put in there, that is this upper bar. The number 30 that you put, that is the lower bar. And right in the center here, you guys, we've got 50, okay? So generally, you guys, when the line here, when the trend line here goes below the 50 mark, it usually nine times out of 10, actually 10 times out of 10, it means that the market is in oversold conditions, okay? So when it's in oversold conditions, that means it's ready to be, you know, it's ready for another rally. It's ready to start going upwards again, which usually it does. Um, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just goes sideways for a while, but uh, I'll explain that in a little bit here. Um, so realistically here, you guys, when it's below 50, it's oversold. When it's above 50, it's overbought, okay? Which means it's going to start coming down. It's gonna start coming down at some point in time, okay? So that's generally the basics behind the RSI, you guys, from a complete beginner's perspective. Now, MACD is a little bit different. Um, MACD, MACD has a lot to do with volume and stuff like that, um, but we're not, we don't need to get into the specifics of MACD in order for this to work. Um, so realistically here, you guys, now that you've got this all set up here and good to go, we are going to get into the actual strategy, okay? Now I have a checklist here already ready to go um, that you know talks about my strategy um, on a very, very, very basic basis for you guys to easily understand from a very basic level. Um, so let's go through this real quick. So guys, for buy-ins, to look for a good buy-in with this strategy, if you're trading Bitcoin, which you know we are, which is what we're you know going to be looking at here. So we're looking at Bitcoin right here. Um, if trading Bitcoin, check where it's at on the RSI on the one day, one week, and one month charts to get a general sense of which direction it's heading in the midterm. Okay. So let's do that real quick. So we can clearly see you guys based on RSI right now and MACD. So basically you guys with the MACD, it's pretty much, uh, it's pr it, it, the MACD and RSI work very well in tandem. So pretty much we can clearly see on the RSI that it's currently oversold right now on the one day chart. See we're on the one day chart right here. This is where you can change the one day chart or not. So D means one daily or the daily chart, which means each one of these bars equals one full 24 hours. Okay. And you can see that over here on this side as well, it's currently counting down. So there is two hours and 38 minutes left of the current one day chart. Okay. It's all right here. So with MACD, you guys, with MACD, you guys, as we can clearly see, this downtrend pretty much followed with the MACD. So as we can clearly see when the lines crossed and turned over into the red, we can clearly see it went down more, obviously. And we can clearly see with the lighter pink marks, um, you know, when it starts to get a lighter pink mark and it starts to, you know, the volume starts decreasing or when, you know, selling volume starts to decrease, 
it's clearly starting to shift upward and that momentum is starting to shift up shift upward and we can clearly see that in the bars here you guys it's clear as day you can clearly see it um, and we'll talk more about this MACD stuff in a little bit here so guys as far as that is concerned let's check this out so we can clearly see on the one day chart you guys that Bitcoin looks as if it is in the midterm it is going to be you know it needs to go up a little bit it needs to start going up a little bit we can clearly see that we can clearly see it's oversold and we can clearly see down here that it's already into the lighter pink and we can clearly see that the lines here are looking like they want to start you know start crossing here soon just like they did back here okay so that's the one day chart and we'll look at the weekly chart now so at the weekly chart is pretty much, you know, the same concept. Um, you know, on the MACD, it doesn't look like it wants to cross over yet. So this tells me that in the midterm, um, realistically in the midterm, it probably wants to come down maybe a tiny bit more, but it needs a small little bit of a relief rally before it goes down, you know, a little bit further. And we can clearly see that because these lines don't look like they want to cross back over and start heading upwards at all. Uh, start heading upwards again whatsoever um, and you can clearly see that by looking at it down here um, so realistically here you guys I personally do believe that it's going to continue to go down just a tiny bit more uh, just based off of that so now we will look at the one month chart so we're looking at the one month chart by the way the guys this is all with uh, what I would this is all what's considered pretty much swing trading okay Swing trading is basically when you're making trades within, you know, anywhere from one full day all the way up to like two, maybe even three weeks. Okay, um, that's pretty much what a swing trade is. It is a longer term trade that's not a day trade. Okay, uh, whereas a day trade is pretty much you're in and out of a trade within a 24 hour period, pretty much. Um, so this is more for you know we're talking mainly about swing trading here. So keep that in mind when we're talking about this stuff. Now, on the monthly chart here, you guys, we can clearly see that the lines started to come down already. And guys, we are still looking like it is it is still looking like it is going to be headed down again, or it's going to be heading down for a little bit longer, you know, um, you know, for the time being. I mean, we can clearly see that on these lines and we can clearly see that the RSI isn't down very far, to be honest with you. But if we look at past previous cycles, you know, on the RSI before it started going up, I mean, it was relatively where it is right now almost. Uh, but realistically here, you guys, I mean, we are into a pretty shitty economical times right now. So realistically here, you guys, um, that is why I personally believe, um, you know, on the MACD, we can clearly see that it is clearly going to go keep going down a tiny bit more before, you know, it starts to slowly make its way back up as you, you know, as you can clearly see it. Um, so guys, in the midterm, yes, in the midterm, it is looking like it is definitely poised to go up for a small relief rally. But, you know, as far as, you know, uh, mid long term here, you know, I'm talking maybe, you know, within the next three, three weeks, maybe within the next three to maybe eight weeks, you know, I think it's going to continue to go downwards on the monthly or on the weekly and the monthly chart. But the daily chart here, I think we're headed upwards, you know, just a tiny bit, maybe to like right here or something like that. Just a little bit higher, you guys. Um, so that's pretty much what you look for, okay? That's step one, okay? You want to make sure and you want to be looking at the charts to see where, you know, to see where the positions are currently being held, okay? You want to see where, you know, the price action currently is, all right? So guys, that leads us to number two. If RSI is oversold on the one day chart, 50 or below, check the MACD to see if the volume is good enough and if the lines are about to cross. So guys, if RSI is oversold on the one day chart, which we can clearly see that it is oversold on the one day chart, then we want to check the MACD to see if the volume is good enough, okay? So we wanna check and see if the volume is good enough, okay, on the MACD. As we can clearly see here, volume is decreasing, which means that it is going, or that it wants to start, you know, curving over into the green section, which is a good thing, okay? So, and if the lines are about to cross. So, are the lines about to cross? It looks like they want to very soon, and we can clearly see that here, and we can clearly see that with the volume bars decreasing as well. So, both of those, everything here lines up to say that it is going to potentially swing upwards just a tiny bit you guys okay so that's good now we're on to number three if the lines are about to cross and switch from red to green wait until the first green bar opens up and make sure the crossing lines are below the bars as well 
Okay, so what that what does that mean, you guys? So obviously I can't do it with this current section right here because you know it hasn't you know it hasn't moved over yet into the green. So I will use this as a as a prime example, you guys. This section right here. All right. So clearly, as we can see here, you guys. Um, Right here, where the lines crossed. This is the where the lines crossed. You don't want to buy right when the lines cross because we've seen it multiple times in different instances where, when the lines cross, it you know and it switches over to green, that it ends up you know only going green for you know one full day and that's it, and then it switches back to red and goes back down again. So that's why it's very important, you guys, that you wait until it produces at least a second green bar. Wait until it produces a second green bar. And wait for that, you know, wait for the lines on the MACD to open up. Wait for the alligator mouth to open up before you actually buy in and start to feel comfortable about it, you guys. Because realistically here, that's what happened here as well. Uh, we can clearly see that the lines opened up and we would buy right here, okay? Literally, we would probably buy right there. That would be the safe point to buy in, um, which I pretty much did. And then clearly, you guys, you know, you ride it out until the RSI, as you guys can clearly see, you ride it out until the RSI goes to its high point, okay? Um, and, but what I mean by high point, you guys, is that leads us to um, our number four part, okay? So if all conditions are met, it's safe to buy in with the strategy. So all the conditions were met here, okay? Again, lines are about to cross, volume bars are decreasing, um, and RSI is below, you know, RSI is in the oversold territory. So it is definitely safe to buy in here. I would feel comfortable buying in here for a short term, for a short term to midterm position here, because I would truly think that it would be going up a little bit here, maybe to 23 or 24,000 levels, which gives you a good solid, um, a good solid percentage gain on your investment for the short to midterm you guys and that is how you do it it's very simple um, now as far as selling you guys you want to sell when the MACD lines are about to cross back over to the red again and it prints the first the first light green volume bar okay so the very first light green volume bar so obviously here you guys this would have been right here the very first lime green volume bar okay but the lines were not the lines were still opening up at that point and they, they the volume bars didn't peak at that point so, and you can clearly see it on the RSI as well. But when we go to the next green, light green bar, we can clearly see it's after a peak, okay? Which is definitely where you would want to sell. So realistically here, you guys, you would have sold, at the, if you were to sell at that point in time, you guys, you would have sold out at roughly $31,200, okay? So you would have rode that from pretty much 29,000 to 32,000 pretty much. Um, so you would have gained an extra, you know, you would have gained some pretty decent profit margins there, which, you know, you guys, that's, you know, pretty much how trading works. It's, it's literally just, uh, you know, setting, setting a goal for how much you want to make on a short term basis, you know, or on a, you know, midterm basis, however much you want to make. Like for me personally, you guys, I want to make sure that I am making at least a minimum, a minimum of 10% per week when I'm trading. Okay. So if I can make 10% a week, then that's great. And so therefore I base my strategy off of me making that 10% gain every single week on a consistent basis. Okay. And that's why I track every single trade that I make simply because I want to make sure that I reach that 10% goal. Um, so therefore, if it doesn't look like it's going to be a good trade, that's going to um, net me, you know, 10% in gains, then I'm not going to enter it. It's just, it's not going to be worth it for me. But realistically here, you guys, when the fundamentals are all set up for RSI and MACD, it's seriously, it's legitimately a no brainer, you guys, anybody can do it, a third grader can do it. I mean, honestly, um, it's as simple as following some basic rules and some basic fundamentals here. And you can literally just follow the chart. And there you go, you guys, it's very, very simple to do. So again, you guys, you want to make sure that RSI is below 50. And you want to make sure that, um, you know, on the MACD, you want to make sure that the lines are about to cross. And you want to be looking at the volume bars on the MACD and make sure that they are switching over from, you know, light red or dark red to light red. And, you know, uh, selling pressure is clearly decreasing. So realistically here, you guys, it's literally as simple as that. I mean, you really can't get much simpler than that, to be honest with you, which is why I feel like this is a very perfect strategy for beginners to use who want to, you know, 
try and you know try to trade the crypto market so uh realistically here you guys if you guys have any questions about the strategy whatsoever hey feel free to reach out to me on twitter um i love helping people out you know that's what i do and that's the whole reason why i started this channel because i was a beginner at one point in time too so uh realistically here you guys again if you guys have any questions or concerns about this strategy or whatever feel free to reach out to me on twitter you guys i have no problem answering questions but overall here you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up but again, guys, before you guys leave, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my future videos or chatting with me here on Twitter.